The Patients Program is the perfect model for assuring that patients and stakeholders have a role in uh, their health care, but also in research around patient-centered outcome research. It really speaks to involving the community. There's a very consistent and strong mission that's patient-centered. It, it evolved from uh, the mindset of Dr. Daniel Mullins at the School of Pharmacy, who started uh, the concept of uh, perhaps we should involve stakeholders and patients in decisions about their care and also the type of research. Increased partnerships, funding has been diversified. Researchers are sitting down and being quiet and letting the community kind of lead and guide the process. The future of the program is bright, is very relevant. There are a number of um, communities um, impacted by the same issues as those that we see in Baltimore. So there's definitely the need for replicating. It has provided a national model for others to adapt and adopt for their specific communities. If we keep going the way that we're going and we're doing things like Patients Day and involving the community at every level and, and continue to listen, and not just listen, because a lot of times people come and listen, but listen and take what they said and actually implement it. The beauty of the model is very inspirational for me and the opportunity to improve health uh, in, in West Baltimore and Baltimore in general in partnership with the community is inspiring. ABC is not just a founding partner, we are an active partner, um, our voices count. Dr. Mullins, he is such a champion, and I think that's important. When you have people who have all the letters behind their name, but they're still so humble and so um, understanding of, I can't do this without the people that I do this for. The Patients Program is a model program for communities. It engages those populations, those patients, those communities in the decision making and building process for patients that it provides an opportunity to address issues of equity in research and also social justice. We have to be on both sides of research because if you want research to really reflect the community that you're involved in, you have to have people to be a part of that.